welcome to You Beautiful Creation. I'm Tina Jackson, and with me today, I have my co-host, Renee Clements. Hey, <laughs> Tina. Good to see everybody. Hi. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Your beautiful flower. Uh, yes, I got my beautiful flower in again. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it as a trademark now. You know, just like always have like my flower in my hair because it makes me happy. We were yeah. talking about that just before recording. <laughs> what makes you happy? Amen. So why not? Why not be happy, right? Yeah, you're a beautiful flower in God's garden. Oh, thanks. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. <laughs> yes, we all are. Think about how we are a treasure. Mm -hmm. We are treasured in this earth. Amen. We are. Earth and vessels. Amen. And the Lord's Holy Spirit lives within us. That's right. And so therefore, you know what? We're going to manifest His beauty Amen. to this world. Praise God. Do the best we can. Amen. With the help of the Lord. Amen, sister. Because I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a witness? <laughs> you know it. Oh, yes. I don't know where we're going right there, yeah, but right. anyways, <laughs> welcome to you, beautiful creation. Praise God, yes. We're going to be able to laugh, yeah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. And we will rejoice at all times, and our pr His praise will continuously be in our mouth. Amen. Jubilantly. That, yes. Yeah. Think about that. Let's let just just focus in on that jubilantly. Just if I say mm -hmm. that right, rejoice, mm -hmm. rejoice. Amen. I just think of a big party. Amen. You know, and I think that's you know. Can I just smash the the little religious world up and down about you know partying? I mean, in the sense like, I don't know. It, God has a party, and it's okay to have fun and laugh and oh. dance around and firm believer enjoy. Fellowship, you know, I, you know, I just sometimes think of religion as just the solemn, ooh, going into this prayer, and, and it's like, oh, come on, all right, there is time for that, but mm -hmm. let's have some fun, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know why that is, Lord? Because hmm. his religion is man-made. Mm -hmm. God didn't ordain that, mm -hmm. so that's why he wants us to be free. Whom the sun sets free, Tina, is free indeed. Amen. You know, that's why the Jews had a lot of parties. They had a lot of parties. Mm -hmm. They, they still had lots do. of feasts. Lots, of, lots of, lots of rejoicing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and always bring in things to remembrance of what the Lord did, you know. And, and that, I, you know, I really wish we could lasso those times back and pull them back into today's society and well, you think about just get that together. <clears throat> Today, well, it's even, even now, he said that the latter mm -hmm. shall be greater. So we're in the latter days. Mm -hmm. And so all the more, mm -hmm. exceedingly abundantly above. Mm -hmm. We are to be able to, yay! So when you yeah. grab hold of that, you know that the Lord is going to bless us mm -hmm. and is, has already done it. Amen. Can we go to Ephesians real quick? Okay. Ephesians, Ephesians 1, talking about what I want to tap into is for people to come to know who they are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Because I've lately been seeing a few things online, different things of people talking about being orphans. Mm -hmm. And that orphan spirit Mm -hmm. where people feel like they where they don't belong or they don't know who they belong to. Mm -hmm. If they come to know the Lord mm -hmm. and what He's ordained for our lives, mm -hmm. then that orphan spirit is gone. Right. right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So w by doing that, or, uh, Ephesians 1, I'm going to read 4 and 5, unless you want to read it. Okay. Okay. Even as in His love He chose us, actually picked us out for Himself as His own, in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, consecrated, and set apart for Him, and blameless in His sight, even above reproach, before Him in love. For He foreordained us, destined us, planned in love for us, to be adopted, Praise God. revealed as His own children, and through Christ Jesus, in accordance with the purpose of his will, because it pleased him and was his kind intent. Praise God. Amen. Yes. And, and with that in mind, just to, to emphasize that, to go to Psalms um, 68, mm -hmm. where he says in 5, he says, A father of the fatherless and a judge and a protector of the widows is God in his holy habitation. Mm -hmm. And I know, um, for instance, I have a sister. They told me at one time, she says, oh, Lord, you know, I don't have a father. And the Lord quickly reminded her, I am a father to the fatherless. Mm -hmm. All the more, Abba, Father, mm -hmm. is our daddy. 
Right. So you think all the more, you know, you, yes, mm -hmm. you have earthly fathers that are mm -hmm. here, or dads, mm -hmm. but our Heavenly Father mm -hmm. is so much greater. And to, to yeah. absolutely just um, wrap yourself around that mm -hmm. and embrace the Lord that way, right. embrace the Father, because that's what he, his intent was, was to have a big family, right? Right, right. Yep, and, and that's, I think, what the whole thing is, too, is, you know, having that time to maybe close your eyes and begin to see yourself in the family. You know, I know for my, me personally, what I like to do is sometimes just just close my eyes, see the throne, and, and see, like, an image of what maybe God would be. Um, that's challenging it for me at times, but I see light, light and glory. And then seeing Jesus and seeing myself there present mm -hmm. and seeing it, it as a part of the family. I'm the sister. You know, and that took a lot for me when God was revealing to me that Jesus is my brother and I'm his sister to feel like, I mean, yeah, Jesus is the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings and everything else. And yes, we look to him, but to also look to him as my brother. Side by side, we're in the family together. You know, and sometimes if, if you know, I do have brothers, so I have to sort of kind of just see a bit as Jesus is my brother as if, you know, a better brother than my, my natural brothers, even though some of my brothers are good, but um, just a, that he's my brother and and we're in the family together and it's a unity. And, and it's such, it took a lot to just really just comprehend that. And I was so thankful for that. So praise God. So yeah, get in the family. Get in the family. See yourself in, in the in the throne room. See yourself, you know, asking God to, you know, what would you ask your Abba Father? You know, um, you know, what, you know, He wants to give you the desires of your heart. So go ahead, go to the throne room. Feel His arms wrap around you when you need that time of of feeling safe. And you know, I think that's the thing of praying in tongues really helps me out if I'm having a time of you know the worldly anxieties or fears trying to hit me and it's just like whoa whoa I'm feeling all alone I don't have anyone to turn to I'm going to just tap into the holy of holies praying in tongues go right to the throne room and put put God's word on that because when you pray in tongues you're sort of you're praying God's word over your life you're like bathing yourself in your circumstance mm -hmm. in God's word what is God going to say about it mm -hmm. you know and uh I think, uh, you know, just seeing yourself with angels around you that are guarded around you in protection, mount a garrison around you as you speak in tongues or speak the Word of God, you are beginning to tell those angels what to do to go forth and to change the atmosphere for you. Yes, absolutely. To, to get rid of that fear, to get rid mm -hmm. of that anxiety, get rid of that oppression, get rid of that depression. And, and it's wonderful. It's a great tool. It's in every single believer. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you have tongues in you. You have all, all the gifts of 1 Corinthians 12 in you. You got the whole Holy Spirit. You didn't get a little chunk, a little piece of the pie. You got the whole pie. Amen. So begin to, uh, to ask the Lord, hey, teach okay. me to work in that gift. Enjoy it, yes. Yes. Because when you even think about you know us being his children, which we really, really are, mm -hmm. In essence, you know, you think, oh, even Father Abraham, you know, um, he was considered a friend of God. Mm -hmm. Now, and you, when you, how I back it up with Second Chronicles um, uh, 20, verse 7, it says, it says, Did not you, O our God, drive out the inhabitants of the land before your people, Israel, and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? Mm -hmm. And I think, wow, he was considered a friend of God, mm -hmm. which is cherishable, it, 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 and yet it was, it's wonderful. But we're even brought closer mm -hmm. to the Lord. And not that Abraham, you know, didn't have a walk with the Lord because it shows in Scripture that he did. Mm -hmm. And he was considered righteous, mm -hmm. as we are as well. Right. You know, and right standing with the Father. But to, for him to say, like you said in Ephesians, we are his children. Mm -hmm. And so... I was, I was like, wow, you know, there's a song we used to sing, you know, I am a friend of God. Mm -hmm. I find myself <laughs> changing that now. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, I am a child of God. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times, you know, we talked about before the songs and stuff and how we have a, have a tendency to change the words because mm -hmm. we know better. When you know right. better, you do better. And intimacy right. is more so with the Lord as opposed to at a distance or afar off. Right, right. You know, it's being um, omnipresent like the Lord is right now here right. with us. Right. Right. No, he's not far yeah. off. Yeah. I know you, you just mentioned the song, and there was one song that just used to just grind me, and it was, you know, I, he gives and takes away. And I was oh, like, Joe. Lord, 
that just really bothers me. There's something wrong with that. And then come to find out it's in Job, and Job gets her. Job whoever, said that. Job says it, and he gets rebuked by the Lord. The Lord's saying, listen, <laughs> I give good gifts, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's just like, get that song off the radio, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and the enemy, it right out the enemy people, takes away and robs. Yes, that's well, his MO. Then I'm seeing the body of Christ gravitating toward, well, the good, as the Lord pleases, as the good Lord, you know. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, you have been so deceived. That's not what it was meant in the word, you know. Mm. And it was taken out of context. And, and, and no, you know, that's not the way it was. Mm. And... Yeah, well, okay, so we're going off on a little <laughs> tangent there because, you know, I could just see how people's lives can get so wrapped up in, in some negative things through false believing, false teaching, and speaking. You mm -hmm. know, out of, out of your words, you mm -hmm. decree a thing. And so many people align themselves with the wrong alignment, and then they're getting the right, bad results. You know, I mean... Right. Stay with the word. Yeah. Stay with, you know, in the context of what it is spoken as well will help you to understand where he's coming from as well. But then, mm -hmm. once again, like you said, the Holy Spirit is, is omnipresent to quicken you, mm -hmm. you know, bring things back up to you. He said, I'll bring things, all things back to your remembrance. Right. And I thank God that he yes. does that. I mean, it's just like, yeah, he didn't leave us, mm -hmm. you know, comfortless, because the comforter mm -hmm. is the Holy Spirit, as mm -hmm. you well know. I mean, there's so many wonderful things of the Lord. Who would not want to, yeah. once they find out and come to know what the Lord has provided for us? Right, you know? right. Because you can have sweet sleep in the times of great trials and tribulations in your life. Yeah, depend on that. I mean, and that is wonderful. I mean, mm -hmm. when I went through my chaotic time of going through what I did, uh, I was just so thankful. I was like, I don't know how people could get through s such circumstances without the Lord. Because, I mean, when I would hit that bed after I had given everything to the Lord, I had sound sleep. I mean, I was out. I mean, yeah. there is, <laughs> I'm done, and He's I can sleep well and get up the next morning I'm feeling, okay, Lord, give me wisdom for today. Yeah. And, and relying on the Lord for that, praying in the Spirit, worshiping in the Spirit, thanking the Lord. You know, I actually um, love Dr. Leaf. I got a chance to watch her um, YouTube videos. And it is just fabulous because she was talking about renewing your mind because so many times your mind can start to dictate to you and you could start to feel like an orphan or you're all alone and stuff. And it's like, okay, no, 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 I'm a child of God, you know, and you could just begin to gravitate maybe towards some scriptures that you begin to speak out into the atmosphere. It's going to renew your mind. It's going to change the atmosphere that's around you. And uh, it's wonderful. I encourage uh, I really enjoy Dr. Leaf. She's a scientific uh, Christian believer, and so Amen. for those people that need those facts, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it, proven. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a proven scientific fact sort of mm -hmm. ordeal. So yeah, it's praise wonderful. God. Well, but once yeah. again, going to well, I want to go to Romans yeah. eight if we can, to um, Romans eight. Oh, I love Romans eight. The Lord had me in Romans eight one time for like. Two, three months, man, every day. Yeah. Read Romans 8. Read He's Romans on the 8. Romans road. I was like, Lord Jesus, <laughs> you tell redemption. me. <laughs> I got to memorize Romans Very 8. Good. Yay. Well, I love that. It's the, the Holy says. Ghost chapter. Amen. I, I, this is the Holy Ghost chapter, one of them. Yeah. Well, like you were talking about earlier, though, you know, how, how do people do it? Mm -hmm. Romans 8, 18 says, but what mm -hmm. of that? For I consider that the sufferings of this present time, this present life, are not worth being compared with the glory that is about to be revealed to us, in us, and for us, and conferred on us. Mm -hmm. Praise God to that, yeah. Tina. Because, I, I, you know, all the more than when I go to um, 23. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's just hold on a minute. Okay. And, and look at those, <laughs> go, go for those it. little words there. To us. So you're going to get something to you. And then you're going to get something in us. It's yeah. in. And then you're going to get something for, you know, you're, you're, you're grabbing something for you. And on. I mean, so I just sort of think of like a bathing, like mm -hmm. a, 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 you know, someone just pouring something over you, you mm -hmm. know. And, and you know, I, I love that. Two, in, for, on. Amen. That's a lot. It is. I mean, that's like an all-encompassing thing that yes. God is wanting to do for you. Amen. And and to tap into that. Now, Lord, help me tap into that. Praise God, yes. Because so many more. people talk about the shield of faith, but in mm -hmm. reality, this tells you right here, you're mm -hmm. all encompassed mm -hmm. with the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And some people, unfortunately, get caught up in the presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S, -E mm -hmm. presence, mm -hmm. as opposed to his P-R-E, 
S E N C E, presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, your presence. Right. I love that one song that's real popular right now, Lord, your presence. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, oh man, you just bask in that moment. Mm -hmm. Just close yourself in and just see yourself, like you were saying, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Sense his presence. Right. Right. You know, whether, are, whether it's you just like as if you're crawling up into his lap on a couch, even though we're, we're adults, we're human, you yeah. know, we're, we're, we're bigger in size. Hugging you know, yeah, just, resting our head on Just him. resting in there, you know, and, and uh, take like a this. moment. Do that. It, it really helps. And I, I really enjoy doing it to some soft music even or even the praise and worship music like you mentioned. Okay. And just to, to just experience the Lord in that way because he will come forth and you may feel a wind yeah. blow through your 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 presence does like, he say i inhabit the yeah. praises of my people he inhabits his praises and the angels are winds that and I, I remember that happening one day in church i was worshiping the lord and it was a not a hand raising church <laughs> and the lord was like you worship me and i will manifest myself to you and so i raised my hands Yay. and i felt this wind just whip around me <laughs> like a, i mean it wasn't like a tornado that extreme but it was just i could just feel this was all the way around and i'm thinking to myself lord what is that i mean i can, i knew it was the presence of the lord but then I think it was in a psalm or in a proverb, it says that the angels are the winds of messengers, you know, and that they, they you know, and, I, and then I just really enjoy that when I'm worshiping and I feel a wind come across me. I'm like, there goes an angel, you know, yeah. there, an angel's just basking and flying around, you know, and, and enjoying the worship with us, you know, because they love to worship the Lord too, so. Basking in his presence. Yeah, and, and you can hear the angels sing if you really tap in. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that's just glorious. You know, mm -hmm. worship is awesome. I had a time of prayer uh, Monday night, and there was a gentleman there. And when he comes to prayer, I get so excited because he likes to worship like I like to worship. And and there's this this groaning. It's more of a groaning. I, I don't know how to quite explain it. You just got to experience it, where you sound more like um, a, a a part of a symphony orchestra, where you're more of a sound as opposed to necessarily singing a tune. And whether you're you're letting out a long blast or you're just harmonizing together and you're just humming together or just, mm, you know, it's mm -hmm. just wonderful. And to make that new song unto the Lord with other believers is just, oh, it's just like having a good drink, you know, just refreshing amen. on a hot day, you know. You're drinking, amen. Amen. You really amen. are. Well, talking about those groanings, as you were saying here, mm -hmm. 26 says, and so that the Holy Spirit comes to your aid and bears us up in our weaknesses. For we do not always know how to pray or offer how to, to pray <clears throat> worthily as we ought, but the Holy Spirit himself goes to meet our supplication and pleads on our behalf with unspeakable yearnings and groanings too deep for utterance. Mm -hmm. So that's when you think, mm -hmm. oh, if you ever mm -hmm. in travail of the Holy Spirit moving upon you, you know, mm -hmm. is that there's times that you do that in prayer. Mm -hmm. So when I look at that, thing, there, right there, bears it out. Right. And so right. I, I think about that and I think, wow, Lord, this is, this is wonderful. Yeah, he was reminding me the other day even um, with the groanings and the sounds that come from the belly because mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit resides in your belly. And when you tap into that belly sound, and it was like he, go, he was showing me how it was shifting the atmosphere. There was an atmosphere shift, be, shift because of the vibrations. Mm -hmm. You know, the earth was created by words. It's a vibration that went into the atmosphere cool. and changed the atmosphere. It changed the structure. And so when you're, you're praying in the Holy Spirit or tapping into that groaning, there is a sound wave that goes out into the atmosphere and begins to change it for Amen. you on yes. your behalf because that's what the angels are called to do. Remember, the angels know the, their spirits. language. Mm -hmm. the, in the, your, when you're in tongues or you're, you're praying in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, they know the spirit realm knows that sound mm -hmm. and it changes the atmosphere. I think anytime we worship the Lord, mm -hmm. it's going to bring healing to our bodies, our mortal Amen. bodies, because it, it's it's you, Christ is in you. Amen. So the hope of glory quickens you. Yes, quickens your mortal body. Jude, Jude, pray in the Spirit; it'll quicken Jude. your mortal body. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Okay. Well, well, I liked it. Well, when we were going with that, like um, I was I was talking with my daughter yesterday, and that we were talking about um, the Lord. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, 
counsel. <laughs> <laughs> but I was mentioning to her about how the Lord says we are to be imitators of God. Jesus is our best example. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to tell her, in, in essence, this is how the Lord said, he said in 29 here, 829, he says, mm -hmm. for those whom he foreknew, of whom he was aware and loved beforehand, he also destined from the beginning for ordaining them to be molded into the image of his son and share inwardly his likeness. Mm -hmm. And he says that he might become the firstborn, that he might become the firstborn of many brethren. And those whom he has foreordained, he has also called. Mm -hmm. You're called, Jeff. Amen. You're called. <laughs> Amen. And anyway, he says, and, and those whom he has called, he has also justified, acquitted, made righteous, putting them in right standing with himself. It says, in those whom he justified, he also glorified, raising them to a heavenly dignity and condition, state of being. Mm -hmm. That is present tense right now. Mm -hmm. Jesus, is, of course, is at the right hand of the Father, but we are seated with him mm -hmm. there now. Mm -hmm. He's there representing us. Mm -hmm. We're here representing him. Right. Right? Right. So That's a huge thing right there. It is. Oh, my goodness. To be an ambassador for the kingdom of heaven. Amen to Ephesians every word that. that we speak out of our mouth will be accounted for because it's either going to bring good or bad. Amen. You know, what are we going to reap, good or bad, blessings or curses? And it's a huge responsibility when you sit back and, well, when I sit back and think of it, I'm like, wow, that is a lot. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I mean, that's like a manager position there, yeah. you know. I mean, that's like the, the president of a company there. You have a lot of responsibility. Well, that's what you say, though. Holy Spirit put a watch over my mouth. Mm -hmm. Put a guard. Guard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. to, to my lips speak, you know, that they'd be pleasing, you know, right. uh, minister grace unto the hearer. Right. And that's a, on a constant basis. And yes, I know. And then there, there, go, there again, it's, it's Lord, you know. Right. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, because, and you know, and if you have spoken curses out into the atmosphere and you're reaping those benefits, you know, the blood of Jesus can redeem that. I know, like, I had a relative that wouldn't help out, and they would say, I can't help because my hands don't work, and they would just make this funny gesture. Well, within nine months, they had a stroke, and guess what? They couldn't move the side of their body, and they were pretty oh. much paralyzed in that aspect. And I kept telling them when they kept decreeing this, please stop saying that because you will get what you are saying. You know, mm -hmm. you, there's a principle of sowing and reaping and blessings and curses. And they, you know, poo pooed me down. And, and I said, and then when it happens, you know, you're just like, wow, here's Psalm 91. You see the reward of the wicked. And I mean, not to call them wicked. I don't mean to make that sound bad, mm -hmm. but you see the reward of what they had spoken. Right. And I can look back into my life even and just have to repent of some things of, oops, spoke wrong there, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, we all do. yeah, we all do. And, and you know, and, and, I, and I pray for you, everyone that's watching, you know, let's, let's make a commitment, you know, to try to kind of be more aware. What are we saying? You know, let's, let's, let's change it up and, and pray for, um, you know, God to put a guard over our mouth. And, and Lord, we, we break off any curses that maybe we've spoken, and let's just have a time of prayer to just say that, you know, Lord, I repent of, of what I've spoken, bring an awareness to myself. Yes, Father. Lord, we curse all the generational curses. If, if Grandma had diabetes, we don't have to have diabetes. We just break that off, and we put the blood of Jesus on that. We call forth a holiness to just begin to filtrate into our life in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And for those of you that are watching, I know I spoke a lot about tongues today. And if you don't have that working in your life, you can have that today. Please don't let another second go by. Just ask the Lord. Just ask Him. Fill me with your Holy Say, Spirit. Yeah, dear Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit to speak in tongues. And a, and a, a syllable or two may start to come out. And, and I encourage you, please speak it out. He's not going to make your tongue move. When you begin to partake, when you begin to articulate whatever it is, a da da da, ma ma ma, sha sha sha, whatever it is, it's going to sound like babble. Yes, it's just the way it is. You're learning a new language. You're a baby. You're learning the God's language. It's just going to, that's the way it is. Articulate it out. It'll begin to manifest through you and you'll begin to speak the oracles of God. So I invite you today to do that. You know, my you know, um, you know, it just may be something like, 
Mm. Whatever it may be, just let him fill you afresh. I just speak forth a wave of, of the glory of God to just hit you right now as you just you it's ask him in your time right now. And and get that encouragement. Have the Holy Spirit begin to manifest. Mm -hmm. So your atmosphere can change with the words spoken out of your mouth. You're speaking the language of God and angels. And angels. Amen. Rest in that. Know a good work is happening right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. And for those of you that do pray in tongues, I encourage you, stir it up. Stir it up daily. Stir it up as much as you can. Driving your car, yeah, taking a shower, washing dishes, mowing the lawn, sing in the Spirit, pray in the Spirit. Get those words out there. Change your atmosphere. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise Let's God. go ahead and pray it. Amen. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you again. Thank you, and, and if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we pray that you do that right now. Say, Jesus, I make you my Lord and my Savior. I come into fellowship with you. Lord, I want to know you as the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings and, and my daddy and thank be you, in the family. Right now, we release that right yes, now Lord. in the filling of the be Holy the Spirit in lives. Jesus' name for health and wholeness to yes. be upon you. In the mighty name thank of Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. amen. And amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. All right. Well, we give you praise and thanks, Lord, for you have done a great work in these people and begin to just receive that anointing. And, and please write us today. Tell us your great testimonies and how the Lord has touched you and healed you. Or if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer or some discussions you'd like us to have, please write us today. I'm Tina Jackson. I'm Renee Clement. And you are a beautiful creation Amen. in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Bye-bye.